action. Hey, my name's Henry Trainer. Um, I'm from Moncton, Maryland. I went to Hereford High School. It was a public high school back in Maryland. Um, there were about 300 people in my graduating class, and I'm a fourth year in the College of Engineering here at UGA. Yeah, so I started the college search process the summer in between my junior and senior year. Um, my mom and I went and visited a couple schools, and then that following fall, so the beginning of my senior year, is when I started the application process. So like I said, my mom came with me to visit a couple schools, but during filling out the actual applications was all me. I went on to the, I guess it was the Common App, and I forget there was another big one, but I filled those out. I mean, I think my dad did read over my essays before I submitted them, but overall it was me who was the one filling out the applications. I think I had a lot of fun on the college tours. Um, Coming to UGA, it was really cool to see all the different buildings and see downtown Athens. And then I also visited a couple other schools. Um, I remember Auburn was one of my favorites as well. So I think just getting to go out and see new places was something that I really enjoyed. And then the worst part was probably, I guess, all the applications. Thank God the Common App helped eliminate some of them. But there's a lot of paperwork you have to fill out. And it can be overwhelming at times if you're not on top of it. Yeah, so I guess I originally picked my like top five or six. I forget what survey it was, but my high school provided this like college search survey. So you put in a bunch of information about yourself and what you're looking for, and then it gave you like a big list of colleges and recommended them based on the fit that they uh, thought based on your answers. So I guess that's how I came up with my top ten or so, and then from there I visited about five or six. So I only took the SAT, I know the ACT is available as well, but I never took it. I think I took it three or four times, and I took that between like December and like March of my senior year of high school. So I think I took it once a month in December, January, February, and March. I took a class at my high school, it was uh, half a semester long, so that was from like August to December-ish and that met like every other day. Um, so luckily my high school had that available, but I didn't do any outside prep work other than that class. So luckily I was doing my college search before COVID really impacted that whole world. Um, I was able to do them all in person and I probably did eight college tours. Uh, a couple of them were local to me in Maryland. I went just to see a college campus and get accustomed to that feel and figure out what I liked and didn't like. And then um, I went on a big road trip and visited some schools outside of my home state of Maryland. Yeah, so obviously most importantly was the academics. You know, you're here to study and you want to get a good education while you're here, but also you want to, um, you know, find a good place that you're going to have fun and be able to make new friends and establish a community outside of the classroom because that will be where the majority of your time is spent. So I think finding that balance of academics, but also like, you know, the fun and enjoyable parts of college as well. I think the UGA was that perfect balance of what I was looking for between the academic rigor and also like what the city of Athens offered outside of the classroom because you're only going to be spending, what, 15 hours a week in the classroom. So really a lot of your time is going to be spent, you know, making new friends, doing homework, um, studying. So I think what Athens had to offer outside of the classroom is really what sold me. I think the hardest part was really the distance. I know that might be a little unique to me since I came so far from school, but I mean, I grew up in a house with um, my brother and my two parents, so I was around them all the time. And then college was the first time where I was just really on my own and being like 700 miles away can be challenging at times. So and I think I was here for, I guess, three and a half months, three or four months until Thanksgiving. So that first stretch was definitely long, but you know, I'm better because of it. So I'm majoring in civil engineering and I do not have a minor. 
So I tried to study abroad the summer after my sophomore year here at UGA. I was planning on going to Rome and I was going to be there for May and June, but sadly COVID kind of forced me to cancel that and I was unable to do it. But I definitely wish I could and I recommend studying abroad if you can. Uh, so I am a member of a fraternity here at UGA, and then as far as clubs go, I'm a member of ASCE, which is the American Society of Civil Engineers. Uh, that's more of a professional club, not really like a personal passion. Well, it is, I'm mean, passionate about it, but it's not recreational. And then as far as IM Sports, I've done so many of them over the years. Um, UGA offers just about everything you can think of, and it's a great way to get involved and get out and go have some fun. I think they're a little bit harder than I was expecting, but mostly because of how different they are from high school classes. I feel like high school classes are very structured and you know exactly what's due and when, whereas college classes you're a lot more on your own. I mean, you're only in the classroom for anywhere between like 12 and 16 hours a week, and a lot of the work is done on your own, and you'll have assignments here and there, but a lot of the work you do is studying for exams and getting prepared for that. So it really requires a lot of the work on your own, and I think that can be challenging. It's definitely different than high school. UGA has been everything I thought it would be and more. I'm so happy I came here. It's been honestly the best four years of my life. I've made so many new friends and done so many cool things because of UGA and through the opportunities they provide. Um, it's definitely a great place to be and there's so opportunities, so many opportunities available if you just reach out and try to find stuff that fits you and find people that have common interests. I guess I wish I'd known that um, yeah, you don't have to do it on your own, that your school can provide you with many resources. I know my high school had like guidance counselors who knew all about the college application process and they were there to help you navigate all that. So you don't have to think that it's all on your own and there's definitely resources available. Just be sure to take advantage of those. Yeah, I think with the common application process, it makes it really easy to apply to a bunch of schools. And I know that there is an application fee for every school you apply to. But on that list, maybe you have your five or six you really want to apply to, but don't be afraid to, you know, check off the box for a school that might be a reach, because you never know. If you get into it, it could be a great opportunity that you didn't think you would be able to have. I mean, I don't know if, like, where you're looking or what you're trying to do, but if you see a school on there that catches your eye, but you think might be outside, don't be afraid to check that box and, you know, just give it a shot, because you never know it's going to come unless you apply.